Hello and welcome to Tango Simulations for another tutorial video, this time on the nomograph and the conversion tables. What I'm about to show you may not be available if you're playing vanilla or if you're using a different UI mode to mine. With that said, let's get to it. So, the nomograph is a very simple tool you can use to calculate unknown values when you already know other values. To better explain it, for example, if you know the distance a target traveled for a given amount of time, you can calculate his speed. Or if you know his speed, you can calculate how much distance he'll be able to cover in a specific amount of time. Let me be clear, the nomograph is not magic. It won't conjure numbers out of thin air. You need to already know two values to attain the third. Now my nomograph in MagUI is a movable tool. Depending on what mod you're using, yours may be a movable tool or yours may be different. It may be movable or it may be static on the side of the map. Regardless, the method is the same. You just grab your ruler and draw a line that intersects the known values. The line you draw will, of course, intersect the value that you don't know, thus giving you the answer. For example, let's assume that we've been observing a target through our periscope, we've been taking bearings uh, and we've plotted those bearings on the map and we know that the target covered about 1.5 kilometers. As you can see, in this particular nomograph, again, yours may be a bit different. Uh, the right column is time, the middle column is split between kilometers on the left and meters on the right. And uh, I also have the speed in knots uh, on the left uh, column. So, as I said, uh, we've been observing the target for about 10 minutes, so our line is going to begin at the 10 minute mark. And then, as I said, the target has covered about uh, 1.5 kilometers. About 1.5 kilometers, that means that I draw a line starting from 10, from the 10 minutes. I move it in such a way so as to intersect the 1.5 kilometers mark. And as you can see, the line intersects the six knots mark. There may be a bit of an error involved in there, but of course you can always double check with the center line periscope method or just the 315 rule on the map. Now, if your mod pack gives you access to these conversion table cards, uh, the nomograph is a bit useless because usually these cards are a lot more accurate. So, for example, uh, in our previous example, I said that we've been observing the target for about 10 minutes and we observed him covering about 1.5 kilometers in that time period, in, in the same time period. So, if we go in this uh, conversion table, uh, we go to 10 minutes, we go all the way down to 1.5 meters, uh, 1.5 kilometers, you'll see that uh, that corresponds to about 5 knots instead of 6. So, the nomograph usually will include a little bit of an error, the uh, conversion tables usually are going to be a lot more accurate, but you should be double checking or triple checking anyways, so no harm done really. And besides, it's always a good thing to know all sorts of ways to obtain targeting data. That way, if something's wrong with your preferred method, you always have something to fall back on. I hope the video will prove useful to you. Tengu signing out. Good hunting.